another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the 100 this is episode 8 of the third season hopefully guys have been enjoying it so far and if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just click on it put the password in and enjoy now very interesting there this is just literally coming to post right now it could be a bit creased but i've just slammed it on literally perfect timing from what happened in the last episode and i do agree with exactly what this says me that blood must have blood now obviously lexa has died last episode crazily Titus shot her accidentally trying to go after Clark, trying to frame Murphy. And, oh, mate, it's mad, honestly. It really, really is. We've got this mad story about, um, you know, Polaris, Ali 1, Ali 2, the end of the world. It was really, really crazy. The 13th ship that was supposed to be joining the Ark was destroyed because, obviously, the creator of the Allies, she was there. She was determined to, to carry on with her technology. If you're saying Ali 1... That didn't actually go to plan, clearly, because it ended the world. But Ali 2, it will solve all of the problems. And she was so committed and so determined to carry on with this, you know, technology that she ended up going in a dropship, leaving Polaris and heading down to Earth. And they didn't manage to connect to, the, obviously, the Ark Station in time. And the Americans shot a missile at it and blew it up in the sky. Now, very interesting that when Murphy was being tortured kind of by Titus, um last episode he ended up expressing murphy anyway about the stories and how they're so similar and how obviously the polaris was part of there the ark and obviously he was reading the symbols that was on the wall and he was saying how ali one ended the world and ali two landed back down and obviously she stood there with her people now i thought it was really interesting throughout the whole episode she kept injecting herself with the black serum now we've seen that like, a couple of people bleed black blood before lexa one of them the girl that squirted it over clark's head when she was with the ice queen and Obviously, they've got some sort of connection between the creator of this AI. Now, again, very interesting. After Lexa died, Titus turned her over, put the back of her neck, pulled out the chip, Ali 2, I'm assuming, and put it in a box and said, this is how we choose our next leader or something. I have no idea what is going on, mate. We've literally advanced from being like poverty on the ground with spears and knives and tree crew to being like some hardcore AI technology saving people it's mad now felonius is obviously looking for it so is raven now clark and murphy will technically know a little bit about it especially murphy probably know a bit more about clark than clark obviously with his conversations with amora but again it's very interesting and i can't wait to see obviously what today's episode has in store so thanks for checking out today's video if you do enjoy it please smash a like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Sir, we lost contact with one of our recon teams. I believe they were attempting to secure a defensive position when they ceased transmissions. Here's their establishing a blockade. There's no way through it. What do they want? Brought a message. Come with us, and we walk away. Walk away. I've said this already. What? By order of the commander, you have been surrounded by an army of the 12th clan. If you do not give up your leader, you will all take a long time to die. Choose the side that's best for your people. You can do that every day. <laughs> Got Bellamy. Oh, well, that was decent for Bellamy, wasn't it? You know what I mean? I kind of like it. Sometimes, it's what Damon Salvatore said, and that's why he's the best. Yeah? Don't shoot the messenger, mate. I do shoot the messenger. I kill the messenger. Do you know why? Because that sends a message. And it does. Bellamy killing them sends a bigger message than them just going back. So I, I love it, mate. I do love it. How many days can we keep our population fed without being able to send out hunting parties? Maybe a week before we go critical? And engage the grounders until we've got our own people under control. And that starts with Kane. And I want you to take over coordination of camp surveillance. We'll need new security protocols at all camp entrances. Changing critical passwords every 12 hours. Good. It's an old saying, but it's true. The walls... They do, mate. ...can't afford any more assumptions about who's a friend. But Kane and his accomplices passed information to Octavia. But Monroe and LaCroix died because the traitors in this camp sold them out. Whoever did that will be hunted down and exposed... That's interesting, that. I think that Monty's going to help them in the end. Could just shock Lash Pike's fascist ass and hand him to the grounders. That would be murder. Not to mention treason. 
and it's not who we are. What do you mean there's no more alcohol? What kind of a bartender are you? First off, I'm not a bartender. You can say that again. <laughs> How sure are you that the debris from a 13th station fell into the ocean? Between 75 and 80. So 20% wrong though. Yeah. I told you. Isn't it? This is as good as it gets. When Abby shut us down, Pike confiscated our chip maker. Then we need to get it back. You don't really believe you can make enough bullets to stop all the grounders, do you? I have to. <laughs> the only way this doesn't end with us dead is you doing the right thing. Like you all did the right thing when you turned in that boy, Finn? You've become a dictator, Charles. You realize that, don't you? It ends with Arcadia victorious. You'll only have yourself to blame for choosing the wrong side. Interesting the way he's obviously he's approaching it because, like, if you look at him, he's not actually, like, leading with a council. He's leading with, my decision goes with doing this. Do you know what I mean? At least when Kane and Abby was kind of in charge, even when he made decisions, he kind of had to take it to a board and they sat down and they all voted. Here, it's just, I'm doing this, we're doing this. No, no, yes, yes, let's do it my way. Do you know what I mean? So it is interesting what he's just said there. Um, but I do like how somebody's confident and determined to do an action that they set out to do. Do you know what I mean? No go back on, on it now. You killed the, Bellamy's killed the two that's come to the gate. You're committed to obviously taking them all out. So... I want you to go and rock forward. I want you to win or lose. I personally, I want you to lose, but I don't want you to back out of what you spent all season telling me you're going to do and that, is, that you've been telling me you're going to attack them. Said there'd be booze? I lied. <sighs> Damn it. Pike's office. Chipmaker? You'll need to distract the guards. They know I'm a Jaha, but they think that you're just a... Drunken idiot. If we're lucky enough to get to the door, Pike's changed his access code. Pike put Monty in charge of internal surveillance. I have to crack Pike's password. You seem to crack Monte. Anyone from Octavia? I'm scanning different channels on one. Nothing. I mean, either she's out of range. They already got her. Or she ran a battery down. What's plan B? Our lookout stays the largest grounder encampment is in this valley. So we deploy an assault team in Rover 1 and we do as much damage as we can with automatic weapons. We load the APDs into the rover and mine the field before we attack. It'll buy us some time, but. Time's what we need. Oh, they found it. Right, okay, they found the device, but we that was reminding me of, um, that was reminding me of the bridge thing they done. You got any idea how we're going to stop them? I might. Last chance to pull out. This plan has a high probability of going south. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. You were right. I've got eyes on Kate, and I think Sinclair's part of it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest. Charges, Tracy. Oh, but they only just caught him though. Nobody else was actually there doing anything. Yeah, you didn't that's catch anyone down. else. Well, that's one down, but it's highlighted now that they know you knew that people was listening. Do you know what I mean? Like, they made a big massive deal out of that. They should have got him on the sly when nobody was looking and, you know, started infiltrating them one by one because now it's raised suspicion. They're going to be like, mate, okay, let's just step back. We'll have to approach this another way. Like he said, when you leave rooms, take different directions, change your patterns up. He's clearly seen that cane, so he's got to change his approach now. Anything? Not a word. I thought you engineers like to take credit for your work. You planning on using that on me too? Will it help you give up any name? He's a traitor on the Ark. We would have floated him, but we're not on the Ark. Lock him up. There'll be a guard checking this room in approximately five minutes. Favorite book? Catcher in the Rye. Keep trying. Favorite place? Down here, up there. Either. The answer is always Earth. <laughs> That's what? weird. The code is an alphanumeric sequence representing the word Earth. Find anything? Electronics are intact. We must have caught Sinclair before he could do any damage. Being down here, I've learned that if something helps you survive, it's always the right thing. He's put something in his head now. He's thinking, I agree with Clark. You know what I mean? And Octavia. The 13 clans make him more safe than fighting them. What you do to get in here? Whatever it took, I have a message for you from Kane. Yes, Kane! Get ready. You fucking legend. Tonight's a go. Wasn't much of a plan. <laughs> Sabotaging the rover. There was a threat outside these walls. The threat's I mean, inside the walls. Because the way I see it, Monro died because of you. Half the camp behind bars, while the other half starves. People won't stand for it. I asked you here because I hoped you'd join me. Hey, what's going on? I keep telling you, if you don't like the man's policies, just get off the guard. Now is not the best time for that. Here. This jacket. 
Oh, smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Going on to that password will automatically reset in five minutes. Let's make the most of it. We've been here before, you know, with Finn. You remember that, right? You remember Finn dying? If I could only remember the good stuff. Is that how it works? Think of your first kiss and just be happy. Our mission is to... When was my first kiss? I can't remember. It was real. I... Loved him, right? Evan, you need to go. I don't remember anything about him at all. We can't let her have this. Run. Okay, that's very interesting actually because Felonius, he forgot his son, yeah, but he didn't react the way Raven did. Do you know what I mean? He stayed kind of committed to the cause. He was still pushing it. He was still trying to give it Jasper. Where now, she's obviously took the different approach to it. And the fact is, yeah, Ali can't actually touch Raven. She's physically not there. She's there mentally and she can speak to her. But how is she actually going to... The only thing she could do is possibly report back to lonious and say it's in that room do you know what i mean you have to get it but how that's going to happen who knows because he's the only one kind of like on her side if that makes sense but also again it's really interesting is that what i was saying last episode i would like to know the connection between why she wants to find ali too and why obviously the grounders uh, i've got it why was it inside of lexa do you know what i mean like these are massive important things that i i, I really really do need to find out I feel like we're not getting none of the aftermath of last episode because we didn't get any of these last episode. It was full on Lexa, Clark, the Capitol, Murphy, and then boom, we've gone to the other side and now we're full on here. So we haven't seen any of them in both sides. I hope you're ready to negotiate the terms and conditions of your surrender. You have something to say? Over, Marcus. Is it? Did you just begin? in? The cowards make their deals to save their own skin. Quiet. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, go on. A proper fighter, isn't it? The riots are distraction. Go on, go on. You've got to commit to your cause, haven't you? I'm very disappointed with Kane there. Very disappointed. See, that's disappointing, that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You go to those extreme lengths and you go all that way and all she had to do is run Bellamy over. You didn't even have to kill him. Bellamy would 100% move out the way if she was driving towards him. And even if... He actually was brave enough to stand there and get hit, right? You don't have to go a million miles an hour and take him out. You have to go a steady pace for him to know that, mate, I've got to move. I'll be in some pain. I don't think Bellamy would have shot Kane. I don't. I think you, extreme measures. Do you know what I'm saying? You manage to create a distraction, have a riot, take out... You know what I mean? Take out the Chancellor, strap him up in the back, steal a car, break outside. All you have to do is ram the gate. And you've stopped because Bellamy stopped in front of you. It's disappointing. It is. Great plan, poor execution. This has never happened to me before. Raven. Be strong. Free will and the need for consent are part of my core programming. I cannot override them. I know that, but maybe I can. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Swivel on my middle fingers and float me. But these are times when we have to look beyond the rules. To realize they were established to serve the world of the past. For the crimes of treason, kidnapping, and attempted murder, I hereby sentence you to death. Are we really killing our own people now? He cost us lives in his misguided zeal to appease our enemy, people you knew. Execution makes it clear once and for all where people's allegiances need to lie. I think she's trying to remember who Finn was now by looking at that. Oh, it's got... You know what, right? If this is his plan again, this would be so good. I'm kind of thinking this was his plan. The cause was an uprising. What about Miller and Harper? Were you able to identify anyone Kane was working with? No. Let's hope today's actions make it clear to the people of Arcadia which side they should be on. It's already starting. Yeah, do you know... I would love 
I, I honestly would love, right, if it was his plan purposely to kind of, like, cause the riot, not to go through the gates, purposely get caught, get sentenced to death, in hope that an uprising would happen, putting his own life on the line, so that the people that he trusts would do the right thing. That is a big, ballsy play, isn't it? It's crazy, it's madness. Now, I don't know if that's the case, but now I'm looking at it and thinking, hey, you know what, mate? I think it's something that Kane would do because look at the aftermath of it. Now, you know, he's been sentenced to death. Bellamy straight away, ticking in his head. This isn't right. I like what he said to him early on in the episode, Kane. Me, I did. He was like, look, do you know what I mean? It's becoming a dictatorship. I was saying, when Clayton Kane was in charge and Felonius, the other council, people voted on decisions and where to, you know, best serve the people. They didn't, when they needed to end lives on the Ark, they didn't just go and take, I'm killing 300 people. They had to sit down on a table and they had a vote and it went round and Felonius ended up being the last one and he didn't. He'd done a non-vote and he had to wait 10 more days, didn't they? Which ended up, did costing an extra 100 lives, I believe. But, you know what I mean? It wasn't something where the Chancellor could just say, right, I'm doing this, and then boom, it's getting done. We're here, that's it. And if you look at Monty's mum there at the end, she's forcing aside. It's not hard choosing what's best for your people, is it? Mm, well, that's your opinion on what's best for the people. What about my opinion? My opinion doesn't have to be your opinion. That's where they're getting confused. They're feeling like everybody needs the same opinion. This is where quite a lot of people in life don't understand the difference between what's factual and what's optional. Do you know what I mean? Somebody could say, I don't know, this person, they're an absolute arsehole. And 50 people could agree, but that doesn't mean that's facts. You could have five people on this side who say, actually, you know what, that's your opinion. I actually think they're okay. Do you know what I mean? Where fact is, you know, you have daytime, you have nighttime. Do you know what I mean? You have a sun, you have a moon. They're facts. Nobody can question them. But like opinions on what's right and what's wrong to save your people, it's all subject to what each individual believes. And now, obviously, up until this point, Bellamy looks like he has been thinking, yeah, taking out the grounders, protecting the camp, doing the extreme measures that Pike's been imposing. That is the best way. But now, looking at how he's self-destructing from the inside and killing his own people, he's thinking, no, hang on. I signed up to protect the Ark, protect the Sky Crew, and defeat the grounders. I never signed up to start killing Sky Crew and people from within. That's not something I follow. That's not something I believe in. And now it's interesting because also Miller's boyfriend was kind of ticking in his head as well. Even though he did plant that mic, he was questioning it as well. Like, I'm actually doing the right thing. So it's good. He started slowly trickling out people getting different opinions. It's interesting. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So, you know, Pike, he's just said them, mate, you know, if I firmly believe that handing myself over to the grounders would save everybody here in the art, then I would definitely do it. But I definitely don't think that's going to gonna happen. I don't believe them. Well, hang on. That's, that's not right, actually, because I'll counter that by saying they handed over Finn. Well, Finn handed himself over and it did work. It 100% worked. They was not happy with, obviously, Finn attacking that village and killing all those people. And they demanded one life instead of taking everybody's. And they got that life. Clark actually killed him. And they accepted it. And then they went forward. And you worked as a team. Okay, at the very end, you went on different directions. She cut a deal to save her people. You had to go to extreme measures and take out Mount Weather. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? There was a peaceful pact between us and it worked. And it's still going today with the people on the outside of your facility. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you was, you've been extended from, from sacrificing Finn's life. You gained an alliance. You gained uh, a proposition to be in the 13th clan. And obviously, Clark's kind of gained being i don't know a spouse to you know the ground the leader obviously it's not happening but what i mean is it worked even octavia becoming just second and now they're obviously working together so i disagree with what you're saying i think that you're just on a power trip just like abby was kind of last season in terms of like thinking that everything that you want to do is the correct way and you're not listening to anybody else proposing anything different and i do think that if you did hand yourself over and kill and do you know what i mean and, and sacrifice your life that they would accept it but then again, do you know what I mean? I love to start the episode with Bellamy killing both of those peoples on the horses. Like I said, Damon Salvatore. Yeah, 
don't shoot the messenger. I'll tell you what, I'll kill the messenger. Do you know why? Because it does send a message. And obviously, it's shown that they're not accepting a proposal of, um, you know, what they're doing. Now, again, very interesting that we didn't have any aftermath of the last episode, which I thought was a big one. And it was obviously Alexa's death. And obviously, we, we was hearing that Clark and uh, Octavia was coming back to the camp. But then we had the revelation of, like, you know the AI being in uh, Lexa, and we didn't know what was going on with that, and who's going to be the next, you know, leader of the sky, uh, the tree crew. It's mad. You know what I mean? There's so much information going on over there, but we focused here today. I thought uh, Murphy, no Monte, yeah, that's it. You know, I thought that he was going to end up working with obviously his friends because you could tell that he's not really a big fan of what's going on. But I don't know. He might be a he. he he could be a prime example of a sheep. Do you know what I mean? He just latches onto a pe like a person or a crew, just does what they say, even if you disagree with it. Do you know what I mean? Until someone snaps him out of it and says, right, come this way and then do what they say. Um, I like as well that um, Raven, she's countering Ali now. Do you know what I mean? Jasper was talking to her about Finn. She couldn't remember it. Then she started remembering and she's like, hang on, why can't I remember? Then you have her here saying, it's not important, just do this, this is our task, blah, blah, blah. She's like, hang on, mate. Do you know what I mean? I've got a life as well. I've got memories. Why can't I feel? Why can't I remember? Why can't, uh, do you know what I mean? Re remember our loved one, my first kiss. What's going on here? I'm not helping you. Sack that. Get that back in the drawer. And she bounced. Hey, it's very good. It's the first time, like she said, that she's had somebody count her counter her usually everybody does as she says so now it's going to be interesting now she starts you know ticking and thinking that she can't always have her, her own way it's going to be very interesting so can't wait to see obviously where we go i'm hoping next episode is going back to the ground just to be honest and clark and octavia and indra i think their side is going to be really interesting to see how they come and obviously create this barricade and if they do try and obviously cut a deal with um you know people inside of uh of the arc what I'm also fascinated to see is how uh, Bellamy's going to retaliate. I feel like Clark Kane is going to get sentenced to like his death. I.e. he'll be hung or he'll be tied to a post. And then when it's about to happen, he'll jump in, stop, or something like that. And he'll shoot somebody. I don't know. But like I said, mate, it's very interesting. There's lots of good storylines going on, if I'm being honest. That I'm excited to find out. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.